mine? Could you be mine? I have all we wanted to have in you. them out the package all right today we're testing out the one finger soft compound i guess you would say gloves they're not as uh thick as the other ones i was rocking i got these forever ago i just never had a chance to try them out but they remind me of like i don't know the salt and pepper chick they're pretty sweet last night we went to sarasota for a wedding happy marriage to my boy kilo and his new newlywed wife newlywed yeah, it was fun though. They had some drinks, awesome food. After that, I went downtown to Sarasota, which I, I usually go downtown St. Pete where I'm from, but we went to downtown Sarasota for the first time. And man, it was fun. boring. 20 guys per one girl. And we had two girls that came out. I didn't know any of them, but I don't know. We were just falling around these two girls that were just jumping on like 20 dudes the whole night. Long story short, there's some cool spots that we went to. I have a Snapchat story. If you guys want me to start posting Snapchat stories into my videos on YouTube, let me know and I'll start like incorporating them somehow. Here's a little snippet of it. Yeah. It's a big ass elevator. Don't drink and drive. My dude hit a tree. Smoking hot off the press. What size? You. If you want, you can give me your debit card and I'll give you cash. You're, you're, yeah, okay. That makes a really fair <laughs> trade there. Our Uber driver is the realest in the game. Back right up to the window. So anyways, we we're waiting for all the people to get to the stunt lot. I got Betty White here. Today is finally the day I get a gas tank for it. The first gas tank I was telling you guys about, the kid flaked out. But uh, I got my boy bringing even better gas tank. So she's going to be looking beautiful. First to show up, Mr. Forrest out here in Orlando. What's happening, dude? So uh, he was out at Grom Day last year. I met him. He was on a Hondo Metro, and now he's got something different. Uh, what kind of bike is this, dude? It's a 2018 so we went ahead and put the acro pipe on it is that full exhaust <laughs> nice looks like herco and becker um like yeah the, the cage you said you got another one coming in was this iron, iron cage awesome so uh he said it's a six b transmission it's pretty sweet he said it was a 310 cc's 300 cc's with uh six speed it's kind of rare for uh these bikes of that size but it's pretty sweet it's got a little luggage rack on the back and then this is just a plastic dip covering um uh, i guess he said it was black and white right yeah so it's pretty sweet it sounded good pulling up he planned on stunting it out there's not many people stunting this factory rider chris teach mcneil he rides one of these and every other bmw on the planet but i guess he's giving them tips and stuff I figured guys, I've rode the Ninja 300, R3, CBR 300, pretty much all those bikes. I've rode them all, um, but I've never rode a BMW um, 300cc, so it should be a pretty good test ride. I'm going to put some specs right here to see uh, some more info about this bike, guys, but we're going to try her out and see. What's this key fob, your garage? Yeah. So I say, no, nah, that turns on the boosters. All right, so we got a nice snazzy little gauge display. It says engine. What does that change to? Is that like your messages usually? You can cycle all through it. Oh, okay. Your miles a gallon. Nice. Positive, positive. When the service needs to be due next. Oh, okay. And your miles. Nice. So only 5,400 miles. It's a new bike though, so he's been riding it. Nice little easy pull clutch here. Mirrors on mirrors on mirrors. Oh, yeah, that's snazzy. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to uh, get... St oh, man. It, it never fails, always. We got outtakes for that. Oh, this thing feels nice. Definitely smooth. Definitely feel the, the craftsmanship on this bad boy. I gotta ask him about uh, riding over here. Do you come over here often? First time to this lot. Oh yeah. I just don't know how it is with the cops and stuff right there. Yeah, we'll find out. What's that? All right, you gave me the old send it. We're gonna have to. Try a little sit down first gear. Wow, this thing comes right up. Very nice. Woo. 
This is such an easy and smooth bike. It's awesome. This keeps you planted straight. Try a little second gear maybe? I don't know. Take it for a little cruise around. bike is nice it's a little more pricier like the starter bikes usually range around three four grand this one's said right around four or five grand but i don't have to look up the maintenance and just the overall ownership cost of this bike it's pretty nice like realistically i'd pick this over a little cb cbr 300 or something like that it's definitely right there this it's not lacking that's for sure So nice planted that's the main thing I'm feeling with this bike it just it's centered it's you're not worried about it feeling like it's kind of washing out like for a starter bike they're light and they feel a little flimsy kind of like you're riding a scooter on the highway but this thing I feel at home on it already My staggers feel a little weird. My legs can't really stretch out that well. It's kind of the normal starter bike thing. See if we can get some bids for us real quick. I'll just go back and forth. What's that? Yeah, it's fun. It's so comfy. It just feels right. How are we gonna get that third person action? It's got some hidden little power pockets though, I'm telling you. Towing that Bronco. <laughs> Alright, we'll just do a little baby, baby smoker. Okay, that thing's so fun. Yeah, that was a good choice. When you bought it, were you like, ah, I don't know about this? thing sounded like it was farting it's like, all right guys so this bike is a blast holy hell first wheelie i popped up it's not feeling squirrely it just wants to stay planted straight it was great and then uh, i tried some other stuff too but like right when you're at balance point it has a little bit of thump to it i guess it's just that beamer power i don't know but it still wants to blip you back some more what's up with these brakes are they they run up here in the abs system and then back out oh, okay Oh, that's pretty easy. So if you guys got this bike, you want to disable the uh, ABS, just flip the speed sensor around, he says. And bada bing, bada boom. So maybe it's the ABS system I'm not used to. It's kind of the brakes. They're there, they just feel a little bit different. They're not as natural as my bike would be. 
all simplistic and stuff but nonetheless this is an awesome bike 2018 bmw g310r of course oh look it's got it on the radiator grill nice nice heck yeah shout out to forest man thanks for letting me ride this real quick and um if you guys have any questions on this bike google it because i don't know anything about it i just wheeled it but uh be sure to like comment subscribe let me know what bike you guys want me to ride next and i'm gonna try to find someone that has it and uh like always keep it dank later